Oh, that was the day. Oh, I didn't kiss the politicians. Uh, Deputy Governor Josh Mahangi yeah. and Silvana Zosoro were arrested mm-hmm. and released without charge. That was quite unfortunate, Gerald. Uh, I think uh, there was something. There was something because uh, the, we also the, the the burial was peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying it was unfortunate that again again you're going to justify it. You're going to what then? What then? You need prayers. I'm not justifying. I'm not saying. <laughs> Again, you are now interpreting. <laughs> no, I'm not just quote a youth writing. Yes, what you are saying, it was sad, and then again, he says the burial was. So he's saying true, justify again. No, I'm you just see, saying, let me tell you. I, no, I, I'm not finished. I'm saying uh, it was unfortunate and sad that uh, Honorable Osoro and uh, the other two leaders were not able to attend the funeral because they were locked in. Uh, I have not been able to see uh, what charges they were <coughs> given, but they, I saw them on TV saying they were not g- given any charge. So I don't know who what to trust at this point in time because, uh, again, I'm not sure if they were telling the truth that there were no charges <laughs> on them completely <laughs> or not. I mean, politicians have lied before, and, and we know that. So... Uh, I think from the experience of uh, the other funeral, uh, it is possible that uh, maybe the government had uh, intel about whatever they were is alleged that they were planning. As to whether that intel was true or not, that's where we can uh, we can part ways. Uh, I mean, if it was true or it it was a lie, we don't know. We still don't know that. But that is what government is. I mean, this, that is the government we have had, uh, the government that deported Miguna without any reason, and all of you are happy. Uh, I mean, why are we now so, uh, hoping that uh, the government had changed <laughs> all, uh, all along, uh-huh. and we are now hoping that uh, the government uh, is, is not like, has never been like that? So I'm, I'm not surprised. But 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 my 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 take on Kisi uh, whether uh, Mangi or Osoro were arrested or not, eh? yeah. Even whether they were in the Bali or not, mm. I think for me the Bali of Simeon Yachai will still have been peaceful because of the caliber of a man that was being raped to rest on that day, mm-hmm. and uh, I think. Uh, the, the, community the, family had also yes, the, 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 com- the, the, the family were very abrasive and they mm. insisted mm. that there will be absolutely no politics. But Baba being who he is, he still said... You have to sneak in something. It is not Baba. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He said... What? Uh, you know, Baba what? said... Uh, there, we said there will not be politics today, uh, but I can still say... BBI. BBI. <laughs> <laughs> it's BBI politics. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. Uh, so basically, yes. I think it is, uh, we, we must not go that direction, whether mm-hmm. in ODM or in... Uh, and I am on the record here, be talk saying that mm-hmm. uh, the deportation of Miguna, from the word go, I've always insisted it's very... I may not have been an, uh, a sympathizer of the ODM person then, Mm-hmm. I am also here, I was also here and I told Bitok that these security laws that we are passing, mm-hmm. we are passing them as Jubilee, thinking that Jubilee will be in government forever. Mm-hmm. Today, the likes of Molkomen and company are uh, recipient of the, 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 the bad side of those laws mm-hmm. that we passed. Mm-hmm. So therefore, I don't think we should go there where we detain people and then release them without charge. It will be very wrong. Yeah. Uh, it will be retrogressive for this nation to be doing that. Mm-hmm. That uh, you, you, you cannot just curtail people's freedom uh, and uh, uh, enshrined in the Bill of Light just the way you want and how you want to do it. Yeah. And then you end up releasing people at the midnight to go home. I think uh, we, from whichever divide you are from, that is not the way to go. We must not go back to those dark days where people are being detained for absolutely no reason. Mm-hmm. That one, I think we must say it, uh, we must na- say no to it. The same way we were here, we talk, and we said no to those people who are now in the habit of causing havocs in barriers. 
we yeah. must not uh, allow us uh, to go let me tell you odede mm-hmm. you remember those days uh, maybe still happens uh, the first people who used to do politics in uh, mazishis mm-hmm. were people from your region mm-hmm. today what your people used to do is just a shadow of what is happening in my area of central kenya Yeah. Mazishi and barrio and churches have become political yeah, battlegrounds. Yeah. These are things we must say no from whichever side you support. Anybody trying to use church to cause havoc. Mm-hmm. Anybody wants to use somebody's sorem send off mm-hmm. to cause havoc is uh, uncalled for. So those uh, police officers who are used to arrest those guys and then you release them without uh, without capture and release uh, capture and release, capture and release. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself you know the police has nothing they can do they are under order they are i mean they are just doing their job so i think this where the orders are coming from is is what we need to castigate and and uh, stand firm and say no to because if i am a policeman maybe at that lower level if i am given the orders can i really say no i mean is there anything i can do I don't. if i am told keep that man uh, there i will just do my job even though inside i will never have wanted that to happen so for me police uh, i don't have a problem with police but where those orders are, coming from, are coming from right. this is the t- is the big yeah. deal. Titus is asking uh, the two guys should also tell us something about Mwananchi will they get a portion of these grants? Or they dame sama subiri, yeye ni nakuja na referenda. Na kwa jana bibi meanwhile wachangula mudavadi uh Kalonzo Muzioka and Gideon Moy went in Western Kenya yesterday. And uh, they have said they're going to fix the country. It's quite interesting from folks who have been yeah longer than all of us. Uh, what's your feeling on that? <laughs> <clears throat> I think uh, they given a signal or insinuated uh, either through words or action that uh, they are looking forward to working together and uh, this to me is about the 2022 elections uh, but if you ask me honestly I would have wanted a situation where we have three serious uh or stronger coll- either coalitions or parties that are running for the leadership of the country because it is expanding the the horizon from Mwananchi to make their choices uh good choices uh number two, when yes we are we are most of us are thinking that we should ideal we should be having two serious coalitions or parties like the UK's and the Americans but the truth is the americans are not so tribal like we are and the 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 you 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 i mean british are not too tribal like us we have to accept that our politics is still largely tribal so the more we have the better for us to tone down that because if it remains just to nikivumbi so i would rather we have a third force which is also strong and is seen can also win then it tones down Uh, the the whole uh, tribal uh, animosity so i would uh, wish to see the four gentlemen forming something formidable something <laughs> that kenyans can see that is is also is also a force uh, and then because william has already gone the other side and has already formed a uh, a good group which is ready for the 2022 uh there is one side of odm which is still looking for the presidential candidate <laughs> we we have one given, side but, no, but, have but, but, the, but the mock in odm is quite amazing mock, no, no, why, why? <laughs> no, we are, I, i love the movies that odm no, come come and, come, come, come contest <laughs> i mean i'm allowed to, i mean what do you but do you know want? and when you sleep very well you know you are not i mean you're no, not going one to thing, get no, one, one, one thing <laughs> I'll, i'll give it for just like mukisa came and want to be president you say one thing i'll give it for odm talking about <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the party or hit the party yeah it's very organized Kabisa. it's a very organized party and uh, i think still as he is saying i do not think you are insinuating that uh, these four gentlemen can make anything formidable the, i have always insisted and i will insist again the union of karongo musioka gideon moy 
uh, Weta and uh, Musalia. It is a union of losers. How it is you, like it is like it is like correcting the number asked in every class. <laughs> Put them together <laughs> and expect them <laughs> to give you serious <laughs> results. It is true. It is true. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. When I had Karonzo Musyoka yesterday saying on how they will change the rights of Kenyans. Yeah. For heaven's sake, he has been a minister and a, a, a vice president for over 20 years. What did he do for his Kamba <laughs> people when he was there for over 20 years? In fact, Karonzo Juzi too ndio ameacha kuwa kwa serikali. Musari Mudavad was even a minister for finance. In this republic, and, he says and, he and, and his father, Arise, and his father was a minister. What did they do that they think they they, they 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 what did they not do that they think they can do right now? Mutu anaitwa Weta has been a minister in this republic. What he did he achieve that he feels that he needs to do more than that today? Uh-huh. Gideon Moy, the father was a uh, president for 24 years. Mm-hmm. He was an MP for five, a senator for 10 years. What is I had his brother Mok, uh, the, the 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 county which uh, he, Gideon Moy presents yeah. that they are they are ni maskini. Na watu wa Baringo nao ni maskia si wachache wa mesema kama kuna maskini. Baba yao ameongoza Barigo 24 years. Yes. Moi tano akiwa MP, kumi akiwa senator. Kama kuna umaskini wao wamechangia umaskini. Sasa mtu kama Gideon Moi, New Union of Rulers, convincing 40 MCS <laughs> to support BBI. You cannot convince 40 MCS to support BBI. And you are here telling us that uh, mumeshikana. No, no, let me tell you. Even our n- news media must not uh, popularize union of losers. They cannot go anywhere. They are joining together. Raila, if they were fighting against Raila, Raila does not need any coalition with anybody mm-hmm. to be to this four gentlemen. <laughs> and so, I had Kalonzo Musioko was beginning a conversation of saying they want to block Raila Odinga. Let me tell you, let me tell you, they were talking about the other at the barrio of Nyachae Karonzo stood and right in the public that they had agreed with Raila Odinga to make uh, Nyachae their presidential candidate. Oh no, no, only a fool who believes that lie that they joined together and they decided Nyachae will become... What is it that Nyachae had shown for them to make <laughs> him a candidate? You know, Karonzo Musioka, when you are lying to the Republic of Kenya, be clear. Unajua baba hata akisimama adanganya kama kwa hiyo mazishi bado walidanganya <laughs> but it looked it looked too like a joke you understand <laughs> <laughs> so don't talk about the union of uh, rulers as forming a formidable force i still insist on dead today the most populist politician today is uh, his excellency the deputy president and uh, right honorable Prime Minister Raila Odinga today. Prime Minister or former Prime Minister? Uh, you don't, in, uh, in the Queen's language, you don't use the word former. Mm. And I think mm. it is people, time people got that. It is right honorable Prime Minister, nothing else. Mm. That is the Queen's language. So what don't is right? There's, there are other, there are the wrong Prime Ministers. What no, you, if, you, if you want, you must add a word. You say <laughs> the former, <coughs> former immediate mm. okay. Prime Minister. <coughs> Excuse Sorry. me. Mm. So basically, I am telling Odede, mm-hmm. let's talk about another union that will form a formidable forces, mm. but not this union of spoiled brats. It cannot be. It cannot be. Karonzo Muzioka, to date, Odede, does know the cost, has never known the cost of petrol. He has never known the cost of paying a driver. He has never known the cost of paying a cook or paying a gate man. You know, when he stopped being the, v, the vice president, mm-hmm. he qualifies for a chase car, an executive car, an executive chef, an executive assistant, an executive this. To date, he has never gone to his pocket to buy Mafuta. The rights of uh, Moses Wetangura, these are the people who brokered the... Uh, to, you know, well, the... the, the the fuel at Trukana, mm-hmm. the the low the, 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 the low farm, yeah, tell her, oh yeah. Yeah, the low the low farm of Wetangura broke at that deal and they pocketed uh, so much money. 
Gideon Moy is this is a guy who mocks people he goes to Harambe na anasema amekuja na baisikeli ya mzee and he's on a helicopter <laughs> these are uh, musari ya mudavadi <laughs> musari ya mudavadi musari ya mudavadi musari ya mudavadi has found uh, his father being a minister he actually succeeded his father in his seat yes these are the people you expect you know if it is odede telling me they want to change this nation um say amehaso vyenye mimi nimehaso kufika kwenye amefika but let not this spoiled brat tell you that they have a formidable force i mean they are jokers honestly who take them seriously <laughs> james no, no. james so ameua zaidi i really enjoy the movie and the, the series of uh, odm asking people to apply for the presidency <laughs> presidential candidate and they know the end result uh, will be what <laughs> it will they, be they call mo, mo, the mock <laughs> activity <laughs> <laughs> like you say michel the party is organized <laughs> no, 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 i admire odede the delegates odede will decide odede who i admire the applicants the delegates odede are the black men in black also in the structures in ODM I may not like their policies and what have you but I admire the fact that the Orange Democratic Party today is uh, becomes now the, the, the I would say the wrongest uh, party that has stands with mm, so you have you have to give it credit to you them. have to yeah. give it credit to ODM and how it has been read mm-hmm. as much as we say political parties are personal belongings in this country you have to agree that ODM has tried and uh, brought a picture of a functioning political party mm, so, so that one uh, you, you you will have to give it to them but you still don't think joe can get that no ticket. there is no, no it's it's as 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 that, uh, that, that will we'll we'll give credit <laughs> no papa has as not as even said he's an as 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 not even paid as 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 even joe knows he is not baba has not said that he is going to retire no baba has not said he is going to run I mean if he brings his candidates then we will begin to discuss that whether whether Joho and uh, Paranya are going to lose to him. I know, you know, now, I know the, you, the, you know what I love about politics is yes. that we, we can uh, you know we can actually ignore what we know and say you know let's <laughs> let's assume we don't know. Yes. Then now let's talk about something else. Yeah. It is quite interesting. Now I just went to Maliza but some Kalonzo where we had my DVD Gidigam coming together is like your favorite Vivandas coming together so that they can pit Kembinski. <laughs> 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 uh, I was the good I say uh, Dubai king is still waiting for his gold. <laughs> well, you people should stop uh, ignoring this gentleman. No, let me tell you. Yeah, let, let, let me tell you. Yeah. You want to know hmm? the difference between them and uh, Baba? Yeah. If today this morning it is around right now it is around 9. Mm-hmm. If today a statement is released that Baba is going to visit Limuru town at 11. Yeah. Baba will get as big crowd as the ones you see in William Ruto's event and uh, maybe the president's event cuz people may not like his agenda but Baba has built a, a name has built a brand that does not require him to join in any uh, any union to sell his uh, big name sasa hizi enda useme karonzo wanakuja ama weta Eh, labda ataongea na wao watu wa nduthi wako hapo Limuru town. So these guys they <laughs> are yeah. No, they are a serious joke. Mm. And I think the most surprising thing about what mm. is that. Joke. Every I mean, time uh, which union that has Gideon Moy that anybody would take seriously. Which? Gideon. A spoiled young boy. Gideon is not a spoiled young boy. He's a spoiled yeah. young boy. <laughs> From uh, yeah to add yeah, yeah to add. And, <laughs> no, and, I'm not to add. I'm just saying no, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm so, just saying mm. Let ne, let nobody overrate Gideon Moy. Let nobody overrate Gideon Moy. Let nobody overrate Caronzo. Let nobody over Today Caronzo is being rivaled by so many people in uh, today have, do we have anybody rivaling Baba Nyanza? No. Let me tell you. You have uh, Wetangura who is cannot even keep his own party. He is being voted by nobody's like Wamunyinyi mm-hmm. and he purports to be a leader from Western Kenya you have uh, Mudavad who cannot get the grips of uh, Western Kenya you have uh, Gideon Moy who cannot control 40 MCAs <laughs> from a remote county like uh, Baringo to vote for BBI 
And uh, these are the kind of people you want us to take seriously. Please go to sleep and think again. You cannot take <laughs> oh, the and, and I think the most interesting about Modava is that every time he, he, he dares to run for presidency, he actually threatens to run to the first place he starts his campaign is Western Kenya. <laughs> I've never seen Modava doing any campaign any other in any other place yeah. of the country. You know, quite interesting. Uh, 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 to ODM for successfully deconstructing a government in power. I don't think <laughs> that's the biggest credit that they can get. You know, because our, our whole government in power. Um, Burugu Kinyanya says, you know, be talking about ask these two gentlemen what they think about Mukisa Kitui if I'm for five or president. That was actually coming up. And David Silma said, ODM is on one show without Baba. There's nothing in there. All right. Mukisa Kitui, even before the first place is getting a beating is in Western Kenya. You know, The fella could not even get a cameraman to do his photography. He had to, to do selfies himself. <laughs> if you saw them trending online. And uh, I think for me, let me tell you Bitok. Uh the fact that he has openly denounced any religion kenya is a religious country from whichever angle whether it is muslims whether it is hindus whether it is christian and to how mm. as to how true people are to their religion that is a subject for discussion but basically kenyans are religious people and uh, despite the, uh, the, 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 the 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 credible leadership people are talking about regarding Mukisa Kitui. It is going to be very hard for an atheist to be in charge of this republic. That one I can tell you for sure. That 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 alone beats logic so why we should have a leader who does not believe in God leading this country. Look at our constitution now dead. Mm -hmm. uh, we have pronounced ourselves as a nation that believes in God. Yeah. Even uh, our national anthem. In our national anthem, we, 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 we play it as a player to God. And then you have uh, professed that you don't believe in God. And you want to uh, lead a nation that 99.9% uh, .9 are God-fearing people. That one will not work. Number two, the perception that uh, you, you have come from World Trade Organization does not actually mean that you understand the nature of politics in this country. Most people do not remember that Mukisa Kitui was uh, was a member of parliament and a minister at one time uh, Kenya Kebaki's uh, government. He was a minister in Kebaki's government. And uh, I think the most uh, sad thing is that Mukisa has not built to reconnect with the Western Kenya where he comes from. And it is evidence. You cannot vie for president successfully in this country if you do not get the support of your grassroots. And uh, look at Baba. Before Baba comes to solicit vote from the coast or from where, he has capped Nyanza and the biggest area of Western Kenya and put them in one basket. Here you have Mukisa Kitui, who does not even have a support of a single MCA, a single MP, but you want to convince us that you will be able to convince Kenyans to elect to elect you? I think it is uh, being of ambitious of Mukisa Kitui to have resigned that job to come mm. and seek for the presidency of the Republic. The only logical conclusion I can conclude Dede is that over the years he has been in World Trade Organization Bitok. He has made uh, networks mm. that have promised to finance him. So whether the presidential... He's in for uh, the game. Yes, he is in for that game of money for and, the thrill. And, and thrill and what have you. And he will make more money because whether his uh, presidential candidate is viable or it is not viable, he will still learn so that the donors and the sponsors can keep bringing the money. So you will give it to M M Mukisa Kitui for learning the presidency. Uh, I think uh, I would say... Uh, there is a guy I saw in the ballot paper in 2013, mm. and I don't think Mukisa will get even the votes he got. There was a presidential candidate in 2013 called Kukubo Nixon, Nixon Jeremiah. Jeremiah. 
<laughs> and I don't think Mukisa Kitu will even attain the uh, <coughs> votes attained by Kukubo Nixon Jeremiah. <laughs> the only one uh, to commit let, me, let me say or this. Another. <laughs> yeah, Gerald, let me say this about uh, the candidacy of Mukisa. Uh, on uh, matters experience, Mukisa is an experienced leader. If he were to be president, uh, he does not fall short of an experience to run a country. That is one. Uh, number two, uh, constitutionally, he qualifies. Legally, he qualifies with all the qualifications that we have for a man or a woman to be a president of Kenya. That is given to him. But now politically is where the issue is. Because uh, the presidency of a country like Kenya is gotten politically. So the political aspect is where I have issues with the uh, Number one... There is there is uh, there is uh, a vote block right now in <coughs> Kenya, and uh, the majority of this block right now <coughs> are uh, people who do not know Mukisa Kitui, because when they started voting, let's say from 2013, uh, 2017, and they are going to vote this this third time voters, second time voters and first time voters in 20, in 2022 will make 60% or more than 60% of total registered voters and this is a lot who does not know Mukisa Kitui mm -hmm. to be honest mm -hmm. these are a lot who got into politics when they got IDs and got their their voters card Mukisa was already out and so they do not know this man completely, <laughs> other than hearing that there is a man at the World Trade Organization. On Twitter. Only for those who are interested to find out <laughs> the things that are going on at the UN and, and global whatever. So these 60% or more do not know Mukisa. So that is a problem for him, number one. Uh, number two, there has been too much... Uh, clamor for this Luya unity. Mukisa is just destroying it again. Uh, because now we have a third force in Luyaland. We have Weta, we have Musalia. Now Mukisa has also joined the band. Weta and Musalia were trying to unite <laughs> and maybe propose one of them to, to be the Luya leader. Now it's complicating matters. Mukisa has al already <laughs> destroyed that formation again. We now have three. And probably we might even have another fourth one. So that Luya unity is also a factor because like Mushendu have said, in Kenya our politics is a bit too tribal. If you are not controlling your backyard, your tribe, then the other tribe does not feel like you are fit enough to come and control them or to come and uh, make them vote for you. So uh, if uh, Luya is still going to be divided between Mukisa Weta and uh, and uh, uh, Musalia. That means none of them is going to convince another tribe to vote for them to be president. So Mukisa is not only destroying himself, he is also destroying Musali alongside and Weta alongside. So, finally, if you ask me, I would say Mukisa knows that he is not going to be president or anywhere close. But Mukisa is looking for uh, a table where he can sit and and negotiate. Uh -huh. Because if you don't negotiate as a presidential candidate, you might not negotiate anything in the structure of Kenyan, the, the, the natural Kenyan politics right now. Uh -huh. If I am going to negotiate with uh, Dr. William Ruto on how to make form the next government, I am going to... Uh, put myself in a situation a where a I am also looking for the same seat. <laughs> because if I come to the table and I'm not looking for the seat you're looking There's for, no discussion. then there is no discussion. Let me finish with people who are looking for my the seat I'm looking for, and then we will discuss with you. So Mukisa <laughs> does not want to discuss later. He wants to discuss now, and that is why he comes <laughs> and uh, package himself as uh, a presidential candidate. Uh, and I think the most interesting about Mukisa is, I think Mukisa is smart as well. Yeah. As much as, I think what I 
has really made even the news more is his resignation than his quest for presidency. Yes. Very interesting. And many people don't understand that actually Mukiza's, uh, Mukiza's tenure was coming to an end in the next four months. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're about, so for him, it was about making the news by resignation, but it was coming naturally at this time of his spell, because it was a renewed, yeah, actually, it was a renewed tenure. Actually, yeah. the World uh, Trade Organization has already depressed him, eh? Yeah. With a lady, uh, can you lady, lady. Yes. Or, or something. Yeah. Yes. So I, I, I think for me, it was a very wrong move uh, for Mukisa Kitui. Mm-hmm. I think he ought to have been more prepared. He ought to have to remember how Jesus sent his disciples to prepare for his coming, mm. and he she was she was on uh, he was on top of a donkey. Mm. I think uh, that's what Mukisa Kitui did not do. Mm. He did not prepare the ground well. Mm. You have seen people trolling him on Instagram and on mm. Twitter because of that selfie he has taken that he could not <laughs> even get. Uh, <laughs> and even the selfie is not well captured. Eh? <laughs> so I think he needed to lay down a very formidable structure. You may not like uh, Olekiapi, but Olekiapi laid a very good structure when he vied for the president. What he happened to Olekiapi, by the way? You know, let me tell you, in this government, <laughs> in this government, you <laughs> ask yourself, where are the rights of Bitanga demo mm. in the government? If you yeah. ask me, Bitok, I I would, if, if I were to advise Mukisa, I would have said two things would work for him. Because nobody is doubting that he has uh, capability yeah, in terms of uh, capacity, technical or otherwise, to run a country. But two things, to me, would have worked for him. Either Mukisa would have resigned, come join a political party, that is uh, strong, go for the governorship of either, uh, uh, is it Bungoma or, or uh, Transoia? Uh, capture that. Mm-hmm. Ensure you capture that. Uh, do your term or two. Through that party, rise to the rank and look for presidential ticket. And people will say, in another 10 years, he can, can be, be a serious yes. contender for yeah. presidency. And you, have, you can have an history. You can have an instrument. Number two, he would have uh, waited and uh, dilly-dally a little bit at the UN, and then <laughs> the, whoever, forms, whoever forms the government in 2022... <laughs> He reaches out. Did he have to say dilly dally? It means there's nothing he was doing there. <laughs> yes, no, <laughs> just dilly dally. No, uh, no, I'm using that word because it's like he has made he had made his mind uh-huh. that he wants to lead the country mm-hmm. back in in his homeland. Yeah. So for me, he would have dilly dallied a little and find out who forms the government in 2022 and reach out first because at his position he can reach the president directly. So he reaches out to that man or woman who has formed the, pres- the, the government in 2022. He is co-opted either as a minister at a certain level. He runs for five years serving Kenyans as a minister or a cabinet secretary. Yes, then after that, through that, people will now forget about... Because right now, a very few... Um, small group would know how Mukisa has done well at the UNCTAD. Very few people. But if he come to run, he comes to run as a, a, I mean, in another government as a minister, people would point. This one was done by Dr. Mukisa Kitui when he was a minister for this. He is a minister for this, and then he uses that to to galvanize and and put things together and run for presidency. So only those two would work for me. But just coming from the. Uh, Anktad uh, secretariat, and then you're here, pap, you're running for president. Some people are even asking, What is Anktad? <laughs> <And I laughs> that guy was trying Anktad to suggest that Aqua and Ajua Malin are talking to Jim, talking UK, I'm talking Canada, I'm talking. I'm seeing uh, James Wonder does not have really very kind words today. Mm. He said, Mukisa, Mukisa Kitui sent himself to prepare for himself. Roger Kitui Mukisa is too of ambitious. The other day, he stated that no leader has the intellectual ability to lead Kenya than him. They say pride uh, precedes failure. He has the competence to run Dream Kenya. All the best to him. Mm-hmm. Dream Kenya. Quote in quote. It means the country wants to run is not here yet. Anyway, it will. Uh, you risk five years in jail and never getting a position to run for presidency for using Asla narrative. If you speak about uh, Asla. Uh,